for a number of constituencies. So let's update you on that, where we now understand that vote counting is underway in Kandara and Garissa Township constituencies in the by-elections that were held there, as well as in Elgeo Marakwet County for the Senate race. And as Ayub Abdikadir reports, low voter turnout characterized the many elections. In Garissa Township constituency, all polling stations opened on time with voters streaming in Ali to elect their member of parliament to replace defense CS Adan Duale, who was appointed to cabinet. All the candidates expressed confidence while loading the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission IEBC for the smooth exercise. <laughs> Uh, alhamdulillah nimepiga kura lakini naona vota tana utiko chini kabisa a couple of uh, terms before i joined the national executive as the cs for defense and i have access and i am uh, hopeful that the people of garissa will uh, elect a new member of parliament in kandara constituency in moranga county Voters took to polling stations to elect their next lawmaker to replace water cs alice wahome among the voters were the National Treasury Cabinet Secretary Njoguna Ndongo and Water CS Alice Wahome. Uh, looking at the, the people, the, 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 the flow is very, very slow. I have voted, I've taken less than two minutes to complete the exercise, and therefore I want to call upon the voters to come out, especially now this early morning when there is no queue. However, in Muruka polling station, a prison officer who injured another security official was taken to custody. Well, in Muruka, there's a, there's a, a ravel which, uh, which, which ensued between the, the team and uh, an officer from prisons. Uh, he has caused chaos in the polling stations and uh, he injured one of the security officers. The security officer is, has been taken to hospital and discharged in fair condition, and uh, the prison officer is in custody. Low voter turnout also dotted the Elgeo Maraquet County Senate by election. Voters in the county took to their respective polling stations to elect their next senator to replace Kipchumba Murkomen, who was appointed the cabinet secretary for transport. For the low voter turnout, uh, we have seen that uh, people are still minded of uh, exercising their democratic rights, their constitutional right to come out and vote for their leaders. And we all know in the whole of the Republic that Kenya has set a very good example and we must uh, continually continue to set, up, set out a very good example. Vote counting continues in all the centers with no incidents reported. Ayub Abdikadir, Citizen TV, Nairobi.